hey y'all irix guy here and several of y'all asked me about my my new controller setup that i'm using for the mavic air and you know how do you like it and a lot of you said man that's the longest lightning cord or lightning cable i've ever seen and and actually it's it's the longest one i could find i actually used it on a uh on a bedside table a nightstand because when i get calls in the middle of the night and i pick up the phone i jerk the phone out of my uh out of my wall and it would often break the cable this cable is so super duper long that i don't have that issue anymore obviously it functions the same as a shorter lightning style cable but i mean i need to get one and obviously check the link within this video's description because you can find not this cable but the short cable that should be the optimal link to go from your in my case iphone 7 plus down to your controller now again it's worth mentioning that i have this uh, this plugged into the bottom of the mavic air controller you know traditionally if you're just using the included short cable that comes with the mavic air controller it goes in the side here and then goes from there to your uh to your smartphone again in my case the iphone 7 plus but i like this setup number one because this piece right here you can hear that it's a metal type material so it feels very sturdy now this piece right here actually it feels like it's a metal type material too obviously the screw part is not uh, metal it feels like a i don't think it's metal i think it's a plastic but what's cool with this is that it elevates your uh your smartphone and again this may work with some tablets as well you know check the link within this video's description for detailed specs because i've got the you know the big iphone the iphone 7 plus and you can see it's just up in there like that but what's nice about this is that you don't have when i used it in the uh you know like the mavic air and i love the fact that they were trying to emphasize portability and this that and the other with the mavic air and you know minimize what you have to carry you know minimize your travel size minimize your travel weight and i appreciate they did that but if you're like me and you're using your iphone in a case even though this is a very slim profile case and i was able to still make it work with that it was still a tight fit so to be able to keep my iphone in its case and use it with this mount instead of the the little pieces that came with the mavic air i feel that it's a better uh it's a better experience i mean that's just my opinion but uh, yeah i like it a lot i felt that it was very affordable again check the link within this video's description you can find where to order it online and you know all this stuff comes off when you're when you're ready to uh to break her down and take her back on the road so it's not like it's a huge big and heavy inspire like uh size and weight issue that's created here it's still a very portable accessory for an extremely portable drone extremely capable drone i love the mavic air so far the 4k 30 looks great but yeah these are just my thoughts and you'll you'll see my my more current uh mavic air videos where i'll be using this to fly because it is you know again at the time of posting this this is my preferred method for piloting the mavic air uh, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irixguy and check out epicdroneshow.com you can go there go to the epicdroneshow.com store you can find the mavic air in the different colors the different bundles you can find other drones and a lot of tutorials too so thanks for watching and y'all have a good day hey y'all irix guy here if you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe like and share it's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow thank you